Hello everyone, I want to do a quick tutorial on building your own models with textures to load. And this is going off the Learn OpenGL tutorial. So if you follow this tutorial, once you get to model loading, and eventually you'll get to a place where you'll load in this model that comes with it. So the next question, and something that's not really explained here, is how do you make your own models? that's what I'm going to show you is how to make your own models with textures and I'm only going to show you really the basics of it alright so I've already gone through this I've set up most of this code I kinda of have done it in my own way in my in my own program so I've got it within a level loader but it's essentially using this code that he has here um, for the most part alright so let's get right to it you open up blender and this is the default let's delete this let's make some other sort of object Let's make a cylinder. And really the only thing you need to do is put a texture on it. Go over here to the right, go to this little ball, which is material, and click new. And just scroll down a little bit to base color and click the little circle to the right of it. And in here you want to find image, image texture. And then Okay, yeah, you click new, and then you click the little folder to open an image. Um, so maybe I want some brick. So I'll open my little brick thing, and there it goes, it puts it on it. And you only see it on it because, well, you gotta press Z and go to render to see that. Now, this things might not necessarily line up like you want. Actually, this looks pretty good by default. So what you need to do is go up here to UV editing and you'll see where all your your faces are mapped here so you can go over here and click any of the faces let me see here I need to put it on face select I think this one here face select I'll select this top face for example that's face select and then it shows it over here and you can use this little arrow here to select them all and then you can use move or just press G and then you can move this to a different spot and if you go back over here and press rendered you can see what it's going to look like and the same goes for all these other faces so that's how you can line it up with your texture and I'm guessing I want to rotate this because the bricks don't line up it looks a little weird so let's attempt to make it look nicer I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to do this accurately that's a little bit better I guess but you get the point and you can do the same with the bottom face maybe rotate it a little bit oh you gotta select these ones over here go to whatever you want to do to it I'm gonna do a little rotating and then you go back to layout and you'll see it in your little world and you can do that for any of your objects you just select them and repeat now when you want to export this so that you can uh, load it up in your code you go to file export and pick wavefront and bear with me here there are some, a few more steps that are pretty critical to making it actually work so you go to wavefront and you save it wherever you want in your project I'm gonna to go to my let's see go up this is where my project is that little thing I was working on it's called ancient archer so I have a resources folder and then a models folder but you know wherever you want to navigate to to load your stuff and your code that's where you do it I've already got a few folders saved here I was messing around with a cylinder already I'm gonna name this one brick underscore cylinder and it's dot obj and then just export all right now comes another pretty important step and this has to do with the way that this code is the way he has you set this up this code up is uh, the texture is in the same path that your obj file is but that's not how blender does it by default blender paths to it based on your computer 
So you want to go to that folder you exported it to. As you can see, I'm in the same folder. Ancient Archer, Resource, Models, and then under Cylinder. And I've got my, these are my old ones, so ignore those. This Brick Cylinder is what we're looking at. Brick Cylinder OBJ, Brick Cylinder MLT. So there's the object file you're going to point to in your code to load. And here's the, the material file. You want to open this, preferably with Notepad++ or Visual Studio Code or something. Not plain old Notepad, that's for sure. And when you open that up, as you can see, this is a full path from my C drive to that brick texture. So what you want to do is you want to take this brick.jpg file and or whatever your material file is and put it in the same folder. And then you want to change this path by just deleting everything except the very end of it. And the reason is, in his code here, he has it save the path to the OBJ. He does a search for a slash and then saves the, saves the path, basically. Yeah, right here. Directory, path substring. So it's just the way he has the load model. So if you're following this exactly, that's what I'm going off of here. So I need to go to this. And that was in in my Dropbox under Good Textures and this brick. So I'm just going to Control C to copy, or you can right click and copy, and then go back back to that folder you saved it in and paste it in there. And there we go. So now copy that. So now when I go to my code, when you load it up, however you're doing it in your code. But ultimately, you're gonna you're gonna path. You're gonna tell it to load that texture at some point. Where in in this demo code, he's telling you to load this nano suit. You would just change that to uh, your new model, or replicate it, or however you want to do it. So I'm just making some functions to handle it quickly here. Let me uh, save that. So I've abstracted it out is what's going on here. And that material file should now be found since it's in the same folder as this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to call this function and run my code. I'm playing around with this bunch. And uh, I'm sure my setup here is different than yours. I've kind of done it my own way. Kind of working on a little game engine here. If you're interested in this, follow me on Twitch. Occasionally I do stream, and usually when I stream, I'm streaming working on this game engine. So now I'm just going to go ahead and run my code, and I should get that brick cylinder. There it is. It did not load for some reason. And if I go look at my debug info, it looks like it's still trying to use that full path. So I'm guessing I didn't save my notepad thing. Yep, this is unsaved. <laughs> so it, this, it's still on the old path. So let me hit save on this. And I'll go ahead and stop my program and start it over. And let's see if that resolves the issue. Yeah, there we go. So you can rinse and repeat that and get materials in your world. I do have a little bit of lighting on it and a point light on the camera and some directional light. I don't have all the lighting stuff going on. And this other stuff was just me playing around, so don't mind that. When I do figure out animations. I will uh, make another video at that point, too. But at this current time, I, that's something else I'm trying to figure out. All right, well, thanks for watching my video here on uh, Code Tech Tutorials. Please give it a like if it helped you out.